mountains. As you can hear the ocean. <laughs> and we're shooting the cruise selection. I think because it's for the holiday season, and it's very up and happy. What's great about doing this is that you can draw from references and to draw from someone like Bardot is fabulous. She was a very, very strong cinematic presence, but I think she was also a world presence in terms of setting a style in the same way that Audrey Hepburn and Grace Kelly and all these people set their styles. My favorite shoe is the Sunday, and not because that's the name of my child, but I also just love the elegance of the shoe and I love ankle straps. There's something about wearing ankle straps that make you feel feminine. They feel very girly, which is kind of nice. All my girlfriends are all like, oh my God, we love Jimmy Choo. Can you get us a Jimmy Choo's? I think there's just something with women in shoes, right? It's the luxury, it's the femininity, and it's the attention to detail. I mean, you can put a lot of work into your dress, but if you really have the right shoe and bag, then you feel good. I'm quite lucky because my foot size is small for my height. I suppose that's also why I've been partial to shoes. You know, tall women shy away from wearing heels, but I don't. I like to have the luxury of just putting on something that's really high because I feel sexier. The most memorable party was 1999. I was in the middle of shooting Moulin Rouge and I wore really, really high silver shoes that came off halfway through the evening, of course. If I'm in the mood, I'm the girl that will dance on the table with a snake. I have been known to be the party girl of all party girls, but... I'm proud of that, though. I like to have the spirit. I'm proud of being able to go, okay, I'm up for anything. And if that means diving in the ocean at midnight naked, I'll do it. <laughs>